Hello everybody, welcome back to Rock and Dr. Rocks. Uh, in the last video, we used uh, the a product from the U.S. Geological Survey called TopoView to look at a topographic map, download the map, and then uh, using pencil and paper, drawing a uh, profile, a cross-section profile of what the three-dimensional topography looks like. And today, we're going to do the same thing, but use Google Earth. So I opened up Google Earth. Uh, we've gone through how to do this before. I'll put a link to the uh, previous video that showed how to uh, navigate and work around in Google Earth if you need a refresher. And so we opened up uh, here and it centers in on North America and here in the center of the country is the Black Hills. We'll zoom in on that, uh, get it kind of centered in here. Rapid City is over here on the eastern flank of the hills. And we want to work in the Nemo area. That's where the topographic map was. So what I have done is uh, you can download uh, all the topographic quadrangle maps, the 1 to 24,000 scale maps for any area you want to as a .kmz file. That's the type that uh, is used in uh, Google Earth. And I've done that and I've put it in my, uh, my places directory. So all I have to do is just check that and it comes on. And lo and behold, there's the topographic map. And we can zoom in, and now we can see where we drew our profile. So if I come in here, here is that knob. Uh, here's pilot knob. Uh, that's where we um, made the profile. And in Google Earth now, this, this topo map is kind of rubber sheeted. And if we you know, tilt the the map, we can see that three dimensionality in there. And note that the map doesn't quite line up. The peak of the hill on Google Earth shows here. Here it is on the topo map, it missed a little bit. Uh, and that's due to uh, map scale and, and uh, you know this rubber sheeting technique. You can see how it kind of lays uh, around the topography. You can also go in, and uh, I'm not gonna take the time to show you now, but you can, uh, uh, right click on this and go into properties and you can uh, change this to say 20 or 30 percent transparent or 60 percent transparent and you can see the the ground underneath it and, and that type of thing but what we wanted to do is look at a uh, profile that we drew and we're going to look at it uh, with google earth and so to do that you go up to google earth and there's this kind of ruler up here and you click that and it opens up this text box i'm going to move it out of the way and I'm going to do a, um, a path, and um, and you can set the scale to any uh, type of smoots. If you want to see how many smoots it is across there, you can set it to smoots, whatever that is. We're going to do uh, feet. And so you come down here to the center of the hill, click, and um, come over here to the center of that hill, and you click. And it's 1,600 to 17 feet. I think I estimated it as um, 1,800 feet based on the, uh, the profile the other day. And now you see this box says show elevation profile. We check that. And there is the uh, profile. Okay, so um, this is, let me see if I can tilt this. I can. You can tilt this. I'm, I missed the hill point. So you can grab that and just drag it up here to the top of the the hill. So that's not from the map now. That is from Google Earth. Let's see what that difference in elevation is. Uh, 5350. Well, that's pretty close to what the, that, let's see, this 5253. No. Yeah, 5253, 5450. So it's off uh, a little bit. It, you know, and, and I don't know which one is uh, more accurate. Probably the Google Earth one is not as accurate, but if I go to the topographic map, it says 5280, when in fact there's the 5400 foot contour right there, and we're inside of that a couple. So it's up here. Let me search around, see if I can find the hilltop. Um, it looks like that's about it, according to Google Earth, 5350. Uh, so it's kind of irrelevant for our purposes. But notice now in the profile, as I move my mouse from left to right, the red arrow on the profile line uh, moves, so I know exactly where I am. So there's the uh, the creek crossing uh, right here on the topo map, and that's probably the low elevation as well. 
so a gentler slope over on the west side, a little steeper slope over on the west side and, or the east side, and that's what uh, we showed in that map, <clears throat> in that profile we did by hand. So very quick, very easy, uh, a lot of fun, uh, a lot of things you can do with Google Earth. This is a very, very powerful tool uh, to do uh, profiles. And you're done, you just clear, and it goes back to normal, and you close that down, and, and there you are. Okay, so you can do these profiles uh, from anywhere to get, again, that three-dimensional uh, view, you know, f just for, uh, for fun. Let's do one real quick one. Let's go over here to um, uh, Newcastle, Wyoming, which is uh, right over here. It's kind of in the Powder River Basin, uh, which is on the uh, western slope of the Black Hills. And um, we'll show profile later. I think it's right in here somewhere. Let's just go from here. And we'll go over to uh, Rapid City, show our profile, <clears throat> and there's the profile of the Black Hills. So uh, to the west, we're kind of in the Powder River Basin, relatively flat. Uh, here's the, um, <clears throat> I believe, the Hogback on the western slope. And then come up into the hills, coming across the what's called the Limestone Plateau area. Um, if you watched my video Way back last summer from Flag Mountain, we were um, up on Flag Mountain, and we were looking to the west and looking at the limestone plateau country. That's this flatter surface over here. And then coming down <coughs> to the east and dropping off down into the plains around uh, Rapid City. And so you can see that the eastern uh, Black Hills, the, the pediment, the slopes around here, Rapid City, Ellsworth Air Force Base, and that area is roughly 3,200 feet. And then the flat surface over here in Powder River Basin is about 4,500 feet. So it's this flat surface here is about 1,300 feet higher than this flat surface over here to the east. Okay, so just another uh, little fun thing you can do with Google Earth. Explore this stuff, play with it, have fun. Uh, if you've been hiking somewhere and you want to look at what a profile looked like on, on your path, you can do that. You don't have to do a straight line. You can do a crooked line. So I'll just do one real quick to show. You can go here, here, and then go up here, here, here. I mean, you can go all over the place. And, and your profile that you see down below is going to be along this uh, yellow line that you, you clicked. And, and so, uh, again, very simple, very easy to do. <coughs> All right, so I hope that uh, made sense and uh, gives you another tool you can use to play with. Have fun with it. Thanks for watching. See ya.